Hey there, good people. I'm Scott, and this is Sword and Shield Studio, a channel dedicated to giving you your weekly dose of DaVinci Resolve tips, tricks, tutorials, and all things video. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at audio presets in DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight audio page and see how you can use them to save different plugin effects, presets, dynamics, equalization from your audio tracks, and use them in another track or project. Right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I am here on the Fairlight Audio tab in DaVinci Resolve where I have an audio track that I have applied some dynamics, equalization, and a couple effects to. If I know I am going to record with this same microphone under generally the same conditions for future projects, it would save me a lot of time if I could just save these settings and quickly recall them later. You can do that with the presets library in the Fairlight tab here, and it's really quite easy. All you have to do to access the audio presets library is go up to the top of Resolve and left click Fairlight. Hit presets library from the drop down menu. And this will pull up a menu with all of your audio tracks and buses on the right and a list of your presets that you're going to create on the left. I've got a couple here already. Yours should be empty if you've never done this before. Now, say I want to save the equalization from my audio track one and bring it into track two. In order to do that, I have to left click the track that I want to save the settings from. So that will be audio one, left click that. And then where it says filter by at the top, you have all these different settings in the drop down from your equalizer, dynamics, plugins, global track, global bus, etc. These are all your different options to save presets for. So since I want to save the equalizer, I'll select that. And once again, it deselected my audio track one, so I'll select that again. And left click save new at the bottom right and name it whatever you want. Uh, we'll call it Equalizer 2. Hit enter and save. Now to bring this into track 2, all we have to do is left click that Equalizer preset that we just created. Hit Audio 2, deselect Audio 1, and hit Apply. Now when we exit out of our presets library, You'll see in our mixer that Audio 2 now has the same equalizer as Audio 1. Simple as that. So what is nice about the presets library in the Fairlight tab is that your presets are saved in Resolve and can be used across multiple projects on the same machine. But what if you want to take your audio presets with you to another machine? Well, you will have to exit Resolve and copy some files. In Windows, you can find these at the directory I'm putting up on the screen right now. Anyways, I will open my file explorer and you will see in that directory I have a couple folders with different presets I've created. You may not have every one of these depending on what audio presets you've used in the past, but you can open each of these folders and they have dot dat, dot dat, and .xml files within them. And all you have to do is copy these folders to the same directory on the machine that you want to use these presets on, and they should show up in Resolve on that machine as well. Well, that does it for this tutorial. As you can see, audio presets are really powerful because they're saved within Resolve. Not only can you take settings from one track and bring them to another within the same project, but you can take these presets and reuse them in project after project and even copy the files and use them on a different machine altogether. It's really powerful. But that's it from me. As always, thank you for watching this video. I hope the information contained within it was helpful for you, and I will see you next time.